Apple. Spotify try to give me a $1.2 million endorsement. You tell me I ain't that nigga. Fuck yeah, I tell you about it. This gonna be a good year, huh? <laughs> this gonna be a good year, huh? This gonna be a great year, huh? Uncle B, what's up? Who the fuck is that, Psalm? I don't know your alias new pages, Psalm. I just know you be having a weird profile picture with the Zip Skywalker. They say that mean you gonna own them seven million. Own them seven million? Nobody own nothing, bro. This shit, that don't mean nothing. That's what this mean. They give me $1.2 million. <clears throat> I don't gotta do shit. <clears throat> But let them drop on, let them get their content. They get a certain amount of content. Don't mess with my content. This is not rap. When you sign a rap, you don't owe. This is podcasting, dickhead. You don't owe no niggas no money. The money is up front. You make the money. It's not rap. You don't get a 360 podcast deal. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. This is not rap, bro. <laughs> That's like, say YouTube pay me. Just say if YouTube pay me $1,000 a month. Just imagine if they give me all the money up front for a month. That's all it is, bro. They just pay you up front. It's not, it's not a rap deal. They say, what would you say to someone trying to succeed in life and be on your level? Well, I ain't on no level higher than you, bro. We got the same amount of time in a day. I just use mine different. I'm 24, I'm 24 hours into my craft. You ain't 24 hours into your craft. Whatever you put all your time into is what you're going to be, bro. If you put all your time into think about getting money, you're going to think be thinking about getting money. If you put all your time into get money, you're going to get money. You put all your time into being a YouTuber entertainer, you're going to be a YouTuber entertainer. You put all your time into get a buzz, you're going to get a buzz. Whatever you put your time into, bro, you can't split your time up, bro. You can't be a street nigga, an entertainer, and work a job. You split your time up three times. It's going to take you supposed to do. I ain't did nothing better. I ain't did nothing extra. I ain't took no shortcuts. I just believe in myself. I'm 100% locked in on me, bro. Nobody can't tell me me. I eat, sleep, breathe, entertainment, bro. So I'm going to be an entertainer. That's it. You don't need no motivation or nothing. You got to believe in yourself, bro. Don't listen to nobody. Nobody can't tell you nothing. You ain't got to ask for no opinion. No opinions count. No. If people talk about you, that don't mean nothing. If people give you opinion to help you, that don't mean nothing. Stick to your goal. If you got a plan... Say if you're trying to walk from here to the front yard. On your way to the front yard, it's going to be thousands of people trying to knock you down, push you down. It's going to be bad weather. It's going to be a storm. It's going to be all type of shit. But if you make it to the end of that motherfucking yard, you made it. Because guess what? Your goal and your dream was to make it to the end of the yard. You didn't give a fuck about the storm. You didn't give a fuck about the people trying to knock you down. You didn't give a fuck about the people talking about you. You didn't give a fuck about none of that shit around you. You still made it to the end of your goal. Nothing stop you. That's life. Don't let nothing stop you. All this shit is a distraction. Niggas write books on my live and shit. You ain't got time for it. They said there's no O with a podcast deal. They don't know no better. I blocked them. I ain't even talking to them. I don't know what's up with niggas. If a nigga be like, bro, I got a million dollars, bro. I just want you to sit this cup in your life for five years. They give me the million dollars. How the fuck do I owe them seven million dollars? Like, what are you talking about? It's just advertising. <laughs> I got 400 million impressions on, Insta- on YouTube. I have... 400 million impressions on YouTube. 400 million. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all this. Y'all gotta go watch that DJ Academics show. Do y'all not know DJ Academics? All right, I gave DJ Academics law because he ain't supposed to be with that girl anyway. <coughs> I don't care about them breaking up. I a real nigga, y'all. 
not a real nigga, like on a real nigga street time. I'm talking about like a good nigga, like a good nigga, like he a real nigga, like he a, he a person, he a human being. Like you should deal with him. Like don't judge him off his his, his blogging. He all right. He a civilian. Treat him like a civilian. So before this civilian get backdoored by a person that's not a civilian, I'm gonna tell him, bro. Like watch yourself. And now she blaming me. She told me, look though, y'all. I wish I can't even show pictures on him no more. Then she go on her Instagram talking about some niggas from my neighborhood said I was this, that. I don't even been in the neighborhood since 2017. I haven't been in a hood since 2017. I don't even think I'm from a hood no more. How is a hood still claiming me? I ain't been in a hood since, since been in the hood. I don't know about no hood shit. I don't even know who be in the hood. I don't even know nobody number in the hood. What hood am I from? From no damn hood. So she go write a message to herself, y'all, and act like she talking to somebody from a hood that I'm from and they going on me. Like, But she don't even know. Hood niggas, like, y'all ain't see the message. The message was on her Insta story. It's like Shay Glizzy, C-H-E, C-H-A-E Glizzy, something like that, something Glizzy. C-H-E-Y Glizzy, I don't know what it is. It's something Glizzy, but go look at the message she tried to say somebody wrote her. Do you think hood niggas write like that? She over there writing herself. Like, the bitch so deliberate. This is how I know she said DJ Academics up. She wrote a message to herself to be about me. Like, who the fuck? Well, hood niggas put parentheses. They spelling everything right. I know nobody in the guys now write like that. Nobody in the Southeast. I don't think nobody in the DMV know how to write a message that motherfucking professional. That was a professional ass message. That joke came with a. It came with like. It came with a question mark when you posted. Put the question mark. It had the right period. Had a parentheses. It was spelled right. I was looking like, bitch, you talking to yourself. Shout out a real big Lizzie. I ain't tripping. I just blocked you. Go watch him. Shit. I'll see you later. Now wait for him to go live. Tomorrow, shot birthday. We're going to go tomorrow, all shot Lizzie videos. We're going to five shot Lizzie videos. This is his birthday. Happy birthday, Marathon. On oh, my mother. Tomorrow, happy birthday, Marathon. We're going to talk about how, what he did for his last birthday. Shot Lizzie made all right. The government ran down on Shot Lizzie and told him they're going to put you on it. We're going to lock you up for conspiracy. To, for robberies and organized street crime gangs. Shot Glizzy told him, no, the fuck y'all not. What the fuck I got to do? They said, you got to get Taliban in a car with a lot of guns. Got to catch them red-handed. Shot Glizzy said, I'm going to the club tonight. Meet me at the club tonight. And they called him an Uber. The FBI was the Uber already. FBI Uber, it was already a setup. They was already watching them. The Uber job was the police and all that. He said, Taliban, bring all the guns. Taliban called somebody and said, yeah, bring the guns to me. Throw the guns in the van. Send the guns to such and such. Shot Glizzy got Taliban ass locked up on his birthday at the club. Why the fuck do Taliban need five guns at the club? Huh? Makes sense? Shot Glizzy birthday massacre. Last birthday he sent Taliban to jail. He set Taliban up his last birthday. He working with the fucking cops. He's a fucking cop. I'm telling y'all, he's an undercover brother. The fuck? They set his ass down and said, get us Taliban with some guns. And he got their ass with Taliban. He said, Taliban, we going out tonight for my birthday. Meet me at the club with some guns. When Taliban got locked up, Shaq Lizzy went on his post the next day and said, ain't no nigga do nothing for me. Ain't no niggas with me. Niggas be doing their own thing, man. Let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, my granny. I know what he did his last birthday. The Secret Service was watching Taliban about to lock him up for all this... This arm um, robbery, little jury store shit, all that. They grab shot and ask him, you going to be the kingpin the head of this shit if you don't get us him red-handed. Oh, my mother, Shot said, we going to the club tonight, uh, Taliban, load him up. Taliban called this man, like, yeah, bro, bring that bag of guns. I ain't going to tell you who that was. Bring that bag of guns. And they, and they caught his ass on his birthday. This is how crazy Shot is, though. Shot told Taliban, nah, bro. Taliban was like, come on, Shot, get in. Tyler was like, Tyler was like, nah, I'm gonna get in the uh, I'm gonna get in the uh, when I call another black truck, I'm going with this girl. He, Tyler Man got an Uber by himself. How the fuck does Tyler Man get an Uber by himself after the club with four guns? Don't make sense, do it. Don't make sense. <laughs> Shot said, nah, I'm gonna catch the next one. I'm gonna call another Uber. Shot, got, Shot, with a, Shot left the club on his birthday without his security. <laughs> That's a fucking setup. <laughs> Imagine a nigga leaving the club. On his birthday, like, telling his security, like, nah, y'all can go ahead, I'm good. Like, get the fuck, I bet he is good. I bet he is. He good than I thought. He a bad man. That's a good motherfucking man. Snip. Shit, me, he act like he know what the fuck was going on. I'm so, I'm so awesome. Police saw me think I lost him. Police saw me think I lost him. I'm so, I'm so awesome. <laughs> hey, look, though. And then he, and then he had, then look though, he told the police he already had a plan. He had plane tickets for that night. 
The next morning, him and Taliban are supposed to fly out. Like, they're supposed to fly out and go to uh, Dominican. I mean, they supposed to go to the Dominican Republic for Shaq Lizzie's birthday. You see, when the Taliban got locked up, next day, Shaq, like, damn, man, Taliban, Taliban supposed to be here with me right now, and I missed the shit on my dog. He came back home and said, ain't no nigga with me. I don't be with no niggas. Niggas got to take their own charges. This, that, and the third. I swear to God, it was, I miss you, bro. Taliban, the police was watching Taliban. Just think about this, y'all. The police was watching Taliban. Why the fuck would they get him on Shaq Lizzie's birthday? The day before he go to the DR. Because they thought he was trying to run. The fuck? They thought he was trying to run. They not better let him leave. They got him. Why would they lock Taliban up on Shaq Lizzie's birthday? Why? Out of all charges. Like, think about it. Just make this make sense. Let's just make this make sense. What a coincidence. The fans come get a nigga on any day in the world. You come on Shaq Lizzie's birthday. That's a bad motherfucker, ain't it? The day before y'all supposed to go to DR. Only person supposed to know y'all supposed to go to DI is Shaq Lizzie. The day before, how the fuck do the fans come get you on Shaq Lizzie's birthday? Out of all days in the world, they come get you on his birthday. Hot ass nigga. Nigga, I'm telling y'all. Officer Glizzy. Officer Glizzer. <laughs> y'all just don't be paying attention. They was not letting them go to the DI and get them a motherfucking face transplant. Out of all, the, listen to me. Just listen, y'all. Listen, I'm gonna be true though. Listen to this. Out of all days to lock him up, they lock him up on Shaq Lizzie's birthday. Out of every day in the week, this day they caught him with four guns. Only day you can catch Taliban with four guns is on Shaq Lizzie's birthday at the club. Like that's the only way you can set him up. Like set him up to get caught red-handed. The biggest extravaganza. Shaq Lizzie's birthday in the city. Bring the guns. Like and he got caught by himself. Nobody was with him. Like wow, four guns. It's supposed to be eight arms. You feel me? <laughs> Too coincidental. Out of all the days in the world, the police catch you. They caught you on the day with four guns. And they caught you on Shaq Lizzie's birthday. Any day in the world, like, you don't carry four guns on no day. They caught you on the exact day you got four guns. They could have came on any day in the world. They came on Shaq Lizzie's birthday. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, just, I just want to know. Like, what coincidence? Like, it's 365 days in the year. You ain't had four guns for 364. The police guess the perfect day to catch you with four of the motherfuckers. I never see you with four guns. Nobody in their life never see you with four guns. Nobody in this world ever see you with four guns. You've been set up, sir. You've been set up. Like, nobody in the world ever in life see you with a motherfucker four guns. Like, ever. And they caught you the one day you had four guns on you. Like, just the one time. Just this one time. And you was in an Uber. Like, you wasn't even your old guy. Like, you had a you had a sneaky police Uber like the police was already the Uber like they was oh, I'm like this shit is crazy what a coincidence <laughs> this the setup though shy sacrifice give and Taliban in the same place. Gears threw a book bag in the car. Gears don't know what's in that book bag. Guess who gave that book bag? Tyler, man. This what happened. Tyler, man, sent the book bag with Gears and said, when I call, just bring it out to an Uber. Shaq Lissy put the whole play together on my mother. Shaq Lissy knew Gears had that bag. Just put the police in that car. You won't get